Hello, my name is Michael Watson and I'm a composer and music producer and I'm teaching you through the Ableton Live manual one step at a time. And today I'm going to be teaching you how to record new clips in both session and arrangement view. So one of Ableton Live's unique selling points is that it's got this traditional arrangement view over here, which is from left to right, but also that it has the session view, which you can use for live recording. And many people kind of find their favorite and stick with that. But I think it would be super great if you know your way around both of them. So I'm going to teach you how to record in both of them in this video. So let's start with the session view. If you want to record into session view slots, you're going to need to know the following few buttons. This little circle here that is a little bit empty inside, this is your session record button. So just note that you're going to need this record button if you record in session view and not this record button here. That's for the arrangement record only. So this is your session view record button. Then if you look into your actual track, you see this this little round dot with the notes inside that goes red if you click it. This is what needs to be pushed if you arm a track and before you record anything you need to arm the track and let able to know that you intend to record something into this track. This little round button in your session track is your chord button. When it's not armed, note how it turns into a stop button. So it's only ever going to be round if your track is armed. The square is your stop button for this track or your clip and next to your session record button you've got this button that says new and this prepares your scene for a new recording. You would use this button if you want to stop playback and prepare for a new take. By hitting this button that says new, you'll stop the clips in all the armed tracks and you'll select a new scene where new clips can be recorded. And just to explain the terminology, a scene is this horizontal line over here that includes all the clips. So a clip would be this individual clip over here and the scene would include two of these and to play the whole scene you need to play on the master track over here. Okay, so let's record something. I've got a MIDI track over here and uh, I'm going to arm this track. I've got a keyboard that I can play on and I can hit record and start playing but often it's really tricky to hit record and start playing immediately. So what I would suggest you do is actually toggle over to your metronome on the top left here. This, these two little dots here are your metronome and if it's yellow it's on and if it's grey it's off. But there's a little arrow and if you click on it you see this countdown option here. And this will allow you to get a countdown before you record so that you can be ready and start recording on the right beat. So I'm going to set a countdown for one bar. And uh, when I hit record now this arrangement position tab is going to say minus one which means it's one bar to the left of where I'm about to start recording and it'll count down from there. Okay, so I recorded one bar and uh, I let it record on a little bit more because I wanted to show you that I could keep recording and it would just keep adding notes and this is called overdub. I've got a separate video all about recording overdub so I'm not going to go into that. You can arm more than one track at once, you just need to command click the various record buttons. Okay, now let's talk about the arrangement view. So the arrangement view is fairly similar, you just need to know the buttons that refer to the arrangement view. So like I said earlier, this little round record button here is for the arrangement view recording. The plus to the right of this recording button is your MIDI arrangement overdub button. And when you enable this, then any existing notes in the MIDI clips in the arrangement view will be mixed with your new recorded notes. So kind of like I just showed you in the session view where I just kept recording in it overdubbed these two notes over my recording. You can do the same in arrangement view. Okay, then if you just go to the right, you see this uh, kind of like step down and the step up button. These two buttons are your punch in and your punch out switch. So if I wanted to protect this little piece of MIDI here and I never wanted to record over it, then I could just put my transport bar over there, hit this punch in switch, then even if I hit record early on here, it's only going to start recording after this black line. Similarly with the punch out switch, it's going to do the same except it's going to protect any musical material that occurs after this punch out switch. Then you've also got this loop switch and what it does, it'll just loop all the things that are between your markers. So you could either hit the loop switch or if your loop switch is not selected, you can right click on your marker and select loop like that. And as I did that, you may have noticed that this loop switched highlighted. And just like with Session View, you have to arm your track before you record. Maybe you've tried to record and it just wasn't working. 
you count in and nothing's happening, it's probably because your track isn't on. So just make sure you've hit that and uh, there you go. So when you record an arrangement view, it's not imperative that you already have an empty MIDI clip over here. Um, but if you want to draw in MIDI notes, you need to first highlight the region, then hit Command Shift M to create an empty MIDI region. And this will open up your piano roll down here. And by hitting B, you get this little pen and then you can draw in your MIDI notes. And before I sign off, I just want to show you a couple of preferences that you can change to tailor your recording preferences to suit your need. So if you hit Command comma on your keyboard, you open up these preferences over here. And if you go to Record Warp Launch on the left over here, you get all these options. So first of all, here you'll see under Record File Type, and I've got AIFF here. You can decide here whether your newly recorded clips are going to be in either of these formats. You can also change the bit depth of your recorded files and uh, like your counter. I mean, you could have also changed that in your arrangement view. So those are just two things I wanted to highlight from your preferences. And going back into the session view, by default, if you've got tracks armed and uh, you're playing a scene, it's not automatically going to start recording in there. But if you want armed tracks to start recording when you play a whole scene, you can change that in your preferences. So just go command comma and go to record warp launch and if you go kind of to the bottom you see the launch options and uh, start recording on scene launch so you can change this to on if you wanted to start recording on scene launch and just in general these preferences are worth familiarizing yourself with and finally before i go a little tip that you probably do already know about if you're recording a passage that's just a little bit fast and you're struggling to get the notes right i would suggest you just turn the tempo down somewhat in the top left over here to a slow tempo like 80 and then um, you can record at a slower speed and then once you're done recording you can just change your project tempo back to the original tempo and um, Ableton should speed up the MIDI and audio for you. If it didn't speed up the audio for you you can just change it with warp markers and if you're not sure how to use warp markers or you're not comfortable with using them don't worry I will link you to a video in the description that teaches you all about that. So I hope that you are feeling more comfortable in recording in both the session and arrangement views. Next up I'll be posting how to do MIDI step recording and also an in-depth video on how to do MIDI overdub recording. So thanks for watching and have fun learning!